The collection of poems is called Leaving Saturn, and the poet is Major Jackson. I'm going to read three poems from this collection. The first one is poem 10 of the sequence, Urban Renewal. These murky streets run like streams, all of ours widen to rivers, and your pen lifts like the blade of an oar out of cement, one stroke in the brain tires. On the two, Fred Sanford rummaging the script on one toe, frenzied, maniacal hand grips his heart for his muse. Elizabeth, all that wide-eyed dancing in the foyer, a robed decadent silhouette. The taxi driver pulls away, a barge streaming downstream. Upstairs the open bed like a Kansas plain. Yet the kitchen sing serves your choosing. Impish fish, you swim upstream and cling. The wake of hunger. Skins drag. Currents drench your tongue. You roll for reflection as every action has an equal. The stamina of legends. Rowing is vital. Next poem on the read is called Euphoria. Late winter, sky darkening after school, and groceries bought from the shop mart, my mother leaves me parked on diamond to guard her bends. Her keys have turned so I can listen to the quiet storm while she smokes a few white pebbles at the crowds crumbling across the street. I clamber to the steering wheel, undo my screw tie, just as Luther Vandross starts in on the one word tune, creeping. The dashboard's panel neon glows. And a girl my age, maybe 16 or so, in a black miniskirt, her hair crimped with glitter, squats down to pane glass and asks, a date, maybe, for five? Outside, streetlight washes the avenue, a cheap orange, garbage swirling in a vacant lot, a crew of boys slap boxing on the corner, throwing back large swills of malt. Even the sidewalks teeming of addicts, their eyes spread thin as eight whites. She crams the crush to build down her stockings, Cradles and slides of palm and rhythm to my hips thrashing, in rhythm to Luther's voice, which flutters around the word I now mistake for weep, as silence blasts the neighborhood in my own incomprehensible joy to silence. Out of the house, my mother steps, return from the ride of her life, studies the pavement cracks for half-empty vials, and looks back at the bricked over windows as though what else mattered? A family, a dinner, a car, nothing but this happiness. So hard to come by. In the third poem on the read, A Lesson After Swimming. One, peacekeeping. Gagged and fleeting, a trumpeter's three note rift. Kidnapped in a wing flurry, an impulsive moment. The gawky hand solos of a mute drummer, we ponder the seasons of father. Two, Sunday afternoons. Father's like a crossword puzzle, each answer a clue, the right words, a collection of spaces, harder to fill than a night in New York City, the choices innumerable and secret. Three, elegy. In a short tie, a boy swings his face painted white. By the lamb's upward stair, below is a book, his arms flap wide open. Outside, his friends are calling. The room is clean, the lawn is cut. For skyline. Thinks he's God, soundless as theory, the marriage of skyscrapers and clouds, that of God's cheekbones and his machines. God must be punched drunk, all those puny boxes splattering moonbeams across to make a graphic screen, shriveling an artist's paintbrush to a meager keystroke. He is triumphant. 5. Memory I hear maracas wrapped in cinnamon cloth off the coast of Benin, 
the sand, one dance of desire. In vertical shapes, stringed by firelight, jerked the bodies into demonic space. Wooden mass adorned the face. And it's an embankment of dreams and fathers like a squatting chieftain with a cigar between his rich, fat fingers. And this collection here is divided roughly, uh, it's divided into four parts. Part one is a sequence of poems called Urban Renewal, which comprises 11 free verse poems. And I had a hard time getting those poems because there's just one stanza, there's very little, there's no white space between the lines. So it was hard to uh, read because I, uh, I could just re you know, repeat reading the same line and skip a line, so it was pretty hard to read. And the, uh, However, um, the good choices in the word, in the, uh, the poem I picked out, and the, uh, the first one is murky in the very, you know, the very first sentence, the, uh, the first uh, murky streets. Well, of course, uh, in the inner city, nobody wants to talk about anything that goes on there. So what happens there is kind of murky. In the fourth line down, rummaging. Uh, that's uh, Fred Sanford owns a uh, junk shop. It is a television sitcom, so he's uh, rummaging the script. That's a good word choice at the end. And then uh, it is a, a good image of the uh, upstairs, the open bed, like a Kansas plane. That's the lines nine and ten there. Uh, upstairs, the open bed, like a Kansas plane. So I really contrast the clutter in the uh, Stanford, Sanford's uh, junk shop. In a wide open plane, there's you know, lots of space. The, uh, the ghetto and then the high in, high urban intensity and goes up up to a wide open Kansas plain. But the last several lines of the poem I kind of a little bit opaque to me. I don't know if he's talking about the writer has a fish, uh, you know. Uh, uh, rowing means writing. Uh, I think I think that's what it means. But anyway, this whole poem is an extended metaphor comparing waterways to uh, to the streets. And in the, uh, and one noteworthy thing is the, uh, after the first uh, three lines, he jumps right into the uh, television sitcom, you know, like, um, you know, that the, uh, a lot of the shows that they don't really portray the real thing, you know, what goes on in the world. So he'd say it's a sitcom, and so you know it's not really the reality there. That's what he said. I think it's just just supposing what goes, what is really uh, happening, and what is really uh, you know on television. Second poem is Euphoria. You know, I think the title of this is a bit ironic or uh, satirical because uh, Euphoria, yes, it was the the boy schoolboy and his mom. They got what they wanted: sex in the uh, in. So they got euphoric, you know, drugs and sex. However, what about the people you know, providing that, the 16-year-old girl? Well, she should have been in school. Why is she you know, doing tricks for people? Um, to earn money for a family, for herself? You know, is she a drug addict? So at least all the questions that you know, we don't answer, and the, but the implicit and then, the, and, you know, the answer is also implicit and then the, and how the, um, so I have some notes about this poem here. Uh, oh yeah, this poem is like a, uh, one example of the, uh, the rites of passage for a African-American uh, male. Uh, uh, some of these are, um, you know, basketball, uh, break dancing, uh, sex, drugs, music, uh, encounter with the law, Fighting aggression, religion, and poetry. And the in the second section of the book, section of the book, there's a poem called "Pest," in which the 13-year-old boy is being spread eagle and arrested by the police. And, and the and the, the pest refers to um, insects that the that the policeman in the former life was a um, entomologist, a scientist who studies insects. So. As, he was, as far as he was concerned, the little boy that he was arresting and spreading eagle on was actually just a little pest. And then, uh, you know, that's ironic and also a satirical title. 
so that the, uh, if we not don't pay attention, we could easily skip these uh, subtleties in uh, Jackson's poems. Here. And also in the second uh, poem, uh, Euphoria, the sixth line down, while she smokes a few white pebbles, or pebbles or another word for crack cocaine. And then uh, anyway, uh, the very last line of that poem, uh, this happiness is so hard to come by. Uh, just like the first poem, a stroke, you know, having a stroke, uh, the brain tires and the, the third line, uh, the third line of the, um, the first poem and then this hard to come by because it means erection or uh, it can mean that uh, difficult, difficulty. Uh, so that's not a plain word. So. It looks like the mother was trading uh, sex for, um, for drugs. You know, she went to a crack house and, uh, you know, like that, uh, and traded sex for drugs, I think. The yeah, third poem, uh, Peacekeeping, I, I don't understand it, uh, but I like the way it's, uh, it's uh, you know, a lot of white spaces and separating the different parts, five parts. And the end. What's, what's mostly puzzling to me is the first, and the third, uh, uh, you know, section here, this poem here, uh, Elegy, I don't know who died, or what the Elegy for, uh, I just have no idea. And the reference to father, I don't know who that is. So, but I do like this poem because it's the, um, the, the syntax is easier than the uh, other poems they write. You know, quite a few are um, free words. But from the um, beginning of the book, as you progress uh, to the second, third, and fourth sections, the uh, stanza eight uh, poems, uh, you know, um, usually uh, happen, and, and uh, usually favors the quatrain and the tercet. Sometimes it uh, uses a, a, a seven uh, line stanzas, you know, or five line stanzas. So it varies quite a bit. And also, the um, the delivery goes from uh, from uh, narrative to uh, to the lyric. You know, as it goes, from, you know, as the book progresses. So that was uh, that's nice. And they, uh, so I think uh, uh, I think I'll read my uh, imitation of the poem uh, Euphoria, Euphoria right now. Uh, my poem. Is called um, Ecstasy. Okay. Um, this is the imitation poem of Euphoria by Major Jackson. Spring over Aberdeen of the school as I ran through alley so that I could get home on time to take the bus to Montesano to the brothel fronted by a cafe. My dad was working there all alone in the kitchen and needed my 14-year-old body to make some chop suey. I dreaded the long night, but I feared my father more. I didn't know him as a friend, more like a dictator. Yet I was a boy who started the like Connie Francis song, I will follow him. Him was my dad, and I don't know why I would start to feel like a girl. I was just feeling obligated to protect my father ever since he showed me where the pistol was in the bedroom. If anyone tries to break the window and come in when your mom and I are not home, you just shoot his ass dead. You got it? I nodded, but I didn't touch the gun. It was 10 years later in Seattle that my landlord took me to a brothel. And I got my first lay with Shasha. The madam gave me some orange juice and a marriage manual, but I was no connoisseur. It cost me a whole 15 bucks but the cop car in the alley blew a siren, the madam said. The boys in blue just want to be paid, you know. And Shasha came out and got me, and I had 20 minutes. I waited 10 years for this. I even asked Shasha if I could kiss her. She had washed me and blew me. It was surreal because the mirror's on the ceiling, and I saw my own ass wiggled. Well, how do? what do I take from my... Uh, uh, Major Jackson in his poetry. Uh, one thing is the uh, the narrative. Uh, 
uh, vignettes, uh, you know, poems that he, uh, he has very good description of the uh, overall um, environment, the, uh, the ghetto, the, the neighborhood, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the people in it, and what they do for a living, you know, what kind of, what they do for jive, you know, all this and that, and the, uh, and the, uh, the theme is very uh, appropriate for the uh, African American male, you know, all the uh, trouble he has to, uh, to, to get out of this uh, dilemma, to get on and so forth, and the, uh, one of the poems in the second session is called Hoops, ostensibly about uh, playing basketball, but actually hoops are the hoops you have to jump through to get a, to get out of the uh, you know, poverty and get out of a, a dehumanizing life in the ghettos. And in this poem, the, uh, the narrator is a uh, math tutor to a basketball player who later got a uh, scholarship to go to UNC while uh, the narrator himself got, had to go to the state university to study Nabokov to be, uh, you know, a liter literary person uh, to make his living. And so, uh, so it gives me a lot of subject matter to, uh, I dredge on my memory and there's a lot of things to write about. And that you know, maybe I should start using irony a little bit more in my poetry, uh, like uh, Jackson does here. Uh, the past poem I mentioned, the euphoria, which is the uh, pleasure at somebody else's expense, which is not good. And I like this uh, use of the um, extended metaphor in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Urban Renewal poem, 10. And so I think, you know, he did a very good job um, portraying the African American experience. And he does it in the uh, understatements. He does not call attention to you know, the uh, vast difficulties the average African American male faces as he grew up, you know, even with the law that he has to be extra careful. Uh, even at age 13, you know, he can be treated like a criminal because, uh, as far as the white officer is concerned, He's just a pest, an insect, it's an insignificant insect. So I, all right, I won't editorialize. And thank you very much for putting up with me. This is the uh, my take on this book. Thank you very much.